Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to answer. Negative number two multiply this one. So we have like this. Next y multiply this one. Next I will put about B equals to this one and Q equals to this one. So we have the S. That means we need to do first the derivative of B with respect to Y. So this one we have number one. This one we have two Y. We have dy, that means we need to do first the derivative of q with respect to x. So this one we have 2x, so negative number 2 with number 2, we have negative 4x. So we can see that this one and this one, they are not the same. Now, we need to find the difference in here. So that means we have this one, we minus negative 4x, and we have 8x plus 2y. And in this one, if I put number 2 go outside, and we can see that this factor in here is similar to this factor in here. So in this case, we need to transform into exact so I need to create about mu white because when I select about mu y I can create this factor in here when we do first derivative for this one and this one So we multiply both sides by this one. So in this case, we want this one equals to this one. So for this one, that is this one. So if we apply first the derivative of this one, we got about 4s plus 2y multiplied by mu y. Then later that we need to do first the derivative of mu y because in this situation we need to do first the derivative of b with respect to y. So that means we do this one first. Later that we go to the second one, and that is about the product roof of the derivative. Now, for this one, we have this one. This one, that is this one. So that is about first the derivative of s. So this one we have negative four s, and we have mu y. Later that, I will put this one go to the left and you got about 4x in here from negative to positive. Next, this one that is about 8x plus 2y. This one, we put y go outside. So we have like this. And we put number 2 go outside. So we divide both sides by this one.
So I will put this one. Uh, I will put this one go to the right. So we have like this. Next, we divide both side by mu y and y. So we put the negative go to the left. Next, we put the integration for the both sides. So the integration of this one, we have like this. And this one, that is about f n of the absolute value of mu y. So we have the formula in here. So I will put negative number two go inside about natural law in here. So in this one, we can see that mu y equals to this one. So I will put like this. That means we need to multiply both sides by this one. Now we need to go back in here. So I will put this one go in here and here. So we put this one go in here. So we have for s over y. This one we have number one. This one I will put in here. So we have like this. Now let's check. So I will put b equals to this one and q equals to this one so we need to do first the derivative of b with respect to y so we have like this and the second one that is negative 4s over y square. So we can see that this one and this one, they are the same. That is about exact. Now, we need to set up the function fsy. So in this case, I will select about this one. So we have the integration and we have 3sy. So the integration of 4s that is about 2s square. Number 1 that is about s. Next we need to do first the derivative of f with respect to y. So this one, that is about negative number 1 over y square. So this one, we don't have y. So you got number 0. And later that, this one equals to 
this one. So we simplify this one and this one for the both sides. Then we put the integration for the both sides. So we have number 2 L of n of the absolute value of y and I will put about c. Now we go back in here. The integration of this one that is about g s y and this one equals to this one. So I will put this one go in here and we have this one equals to this one and now we simplify for the both sides and this is the final answer this is the end thank you for watching